大家好，欢迎来到 S T M Shanghai Innovation Live. Thank you, Cluster, and welcome to the magic city we call Shanghai. To help take advantage of all the security features of the S T M 32H5, I'm excited to introduce Secure Manager, a new S T M 32 Trust initiative that will make implementing safeguards and obtaining certifications much more practical. Engineered in cooperation with our partner Proof and Run, Secure Manager is a turnkey solution that transfers SASIP security assurance to your application. That's right. Thanks to Secure Manager, creating a SASIP Level Three application just become a lot simpler. Let me explain. Secure Manager takes the form of a downloadable software package containing binaries, libraries, code implementations, and documentation, among other things. There will also be configuration options to guide developers in activating certain features, like the SM32H5's immutable root of trust or IROT. We are so excited to introduce Secure Manager because we understand what you go through. We know that despite the best intentions, some developers can't implement all the security features they target, and sometimes you can't obtain the certification you were hoping for. There are many reasons. In some cases, teams don't have the necessary expertise. At other times, it's too expensive. That's why we're excited about Secure Manager. We believe it will change how you work, because Secure Manager includes PSA and SASIP Level Three certified binaries that guarantee certification at the system level. Previously, we only provided source code, which meant that developers had to adapt it and compile it, which forced them to certify it again. A qualification is only valid if the code remains unchanged. A binary solves that. Secure Manager is also mindful of where you are in your development journey. That's why we use PSA APIs. If you are using trusted former M from ARM, you know those APIs already, and so moving to Secure Manager will be relatively straightforward. Additionally, because Secure Manager provides a turnkey solution. That automatically sets up the IROT and features like secure storage. The certification process becomes much simpler. Indeed, using the binaries saves tremendous time and resources. We will also provide a Secure Manager Access Key or SMAK to help developers create applications that use services from the Secure Manager but run on the non-trusted part of the trust zone environment. As I'm sure you realize now. The new Secure Manager is about increasing the accessibility of all the security features of the STM32H5 and other STM32 MCUs at a later date. Consequently, it also allows developers to customize their solutions. Do you only want to use ST's IROT or the IROT and UROT only, or both of them alongside the trusted execution environment and secure services, or no services at all? STM32H5 gives you the ability to pick and choose what works for you, and to further help developers with more demanding needs, the Secure Manager comes with the Secure Manager Development Kit (SMDK) to create complex and trusted applications. For instance, a team working on a fingerprint algorithm would use the SMDK to turn it into a secure and encrypted module that would live in a privileged area. Secure Manager is a great example of ST's commitment to security, and of what our community can expect from the STM32 Trust initiative. From the start of your development phase to the commercial launch, it's critical to build safeguards to protect your company's IP and your customers. The goal of STM32 Trust is to demystify security. We know the topic itself can get extremely complex. It's difficult to get. The right documentation or grasp the intricacies of all the technologies involved. STM32 Trust already helped with that, and now Secure Manager goes a step further by opening the STM32 H5 security to all developers, regardless of their expertise level. The best way to get started is to head to the STM32 Trust webpage on st.com to see what Secure Manager can do. We believe that it will change how you look at security on embedded systems. We will also conduct webinars worldwide to walk our community through some of the implementations and new possibilities. Talking about community, we want to take the time to listen to your comments and get your questions. So at this time, 
we will have a live Q&A. Leave your impressions, suggestions or questions in the comment section. We will try to answer them as quickly as possible before moving to Natalie in France, who will show us how our first wireless microcontroller is also getting a serious security upgrade. Thank you for your support. See you next time.